Hi, this is Darren Ferrugia. What I'm going to be talking about now is um, four-way coordination. And I would say that as a, as a teacher that's been teaching for a long time, this seems to be the thing that seems to get most people unstuck when they play their instrument. And I'm just going to talk about a couple of things that hopefully will help you out. One of the things is this. When I talk about four-way coordination, I'm going to talk about not only grooves, so that would be when I'm playing the right hand on the right cymbal or any other part of the kit that's not the hi-hat, but using the hi-hat with my left foot. So in addition to playing grooves using four-way coordination, I'm talking about just being able to play around the drum set but still keep the hi-hat going. Uh, often when I play, and I think more often than not when I play, I'm using a heel-up technique. And so therefore, when I do that, now let me just get myself in position here so that you can see if, if my heels are up, it does and can place a little bit of pressure and strain on, on your ability to balance on the drum set. So uh, this is one thing that I think is really important to keep in mind, and that is never lift with your calf muscles, sorry, with your uh, thigh muscles. Don't lift with your th thigh muscles. Here's an example, right? If I try to lift both heels or both feet off the floor completely, the only way I can do that is to lean back. And so therefore my body, the only way I can balance my body is to lean back, which would make it impossible to actually play the drums. Also in this position, while I'm here doing this, I'm starting to feel my back cramp up a little bit, my stomach muscles are starting to tighten up, so that's also a very uncomfortable experience. So whenever you play the pedals, try to lift your foot off the pedals by using the muscles below the knee. So here's an example of the hi-hat. Um, heel down, you don't necessarily have those problems. But heel up, you can. So I use a technique where I'm using heel up and I'm bouncing, pretty much bouncing my foot off the plate of the pedal getting that really nice tight sound and has no effect on my balance. What I'm going to do is play the hi-hat and the bass drum together using the same technique. So by doing that, one of the things that I'm very aware of is my physical balance and also making sure that when those two notes land together, they actually do land together so that the unisons are very precise. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play, um, I'm going to play a groove. It's going to be a really basic eighth, eighth note groove. My right hand's on the right cymbal and I'm going to play quarter notes with the hi-hat. Now I'm going to begin with the hi-hat so that you can hear that on its own and then I'll add uh, the other three voices at the same time. So we'll start with this. Okay, so by doing that, what you're uh, hearing is uh, very much a timekeeping responsibility from the hi-hat. In order to make that a little more colourful, I can change the position of that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play that hi-hat on the and of every beat. One, and, two, and, three, and, four, and. When I do that, it actually makes a little more contribution to the feel rather than just acting as a timekeeping mechanism. One, two, three, four. So uh, instead of being just a time-functioning device, it now adds a little more colour to the groove. 
Another aspect, as I mentioned earlier, of four-way coordination is being able to play patterns, uh, you know, around the drum set, and um, you know, whilst you're able to maintain a hi hat pulse with your with your left foot on the hi hat. So again, I'm going to start off with uh, quarter notes on the hi hat, and I'm just going to play some patterns say right left right foot right left right foot for example around the drum set uh, again I'll be using all four limbs So the hi-hat is useful uh, for keeping time. And then, you know, once you develop that a little further, you know, you, you would be able to play a solo, a drum solo, and actually keep time with your left foot while you're playing a drum solo. Let me try a little bit of that for you now so that you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to play quarter notes with the left foot. I'm just going to play around the drums a little bit just to give you an example of the left foot really keeping time staying in time with the rest of the uh, rest of the body and hopefully uh, conveying a sense of pulse throughout the whole thing <laughs> 